hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a vlog style of allotment diaries i'll just show you what we've done so far give me some time give me some time to get stronger i'll be okay just give me a little bit longer yeah we're gonna win the struggle we're in so this was the end of march and we would normally have put potatoes down by this time but the cold was not letting go this year so it's it had started getting warmer and we decided to brave it and just put them down we left some land covered uh, with those big white uh, plastics this makes it easy for us to use it the following year been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around wanna see it now pack our bags and get in that car real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we normally plant potatoes by just making a hole and putting them in the ground and leave a little bit on top showing but because we were not sure about the temperatures and we we're afraid that we might come back and find them all frozen we decided to plant them this way uh, this year hey darling i love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes and a coffee too our second allotment is half the size of the first one the advantage with this one is it's smaller obviously it's got some tools to work on and it's also easier to water so the next step that we did was prepare the land for this one we were young and we were free and running never bothered about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and drunk in love this is so satisfying to watch it literally took five minutes it's good when you've got the tools to work the land in the meantime we had a nursery in our little back garden we were growing rape kale cavolo nero some pumpkin some spinach and some rhubarb so this is how they looked on different dates up to when we were ready to plant the cavolo nero like the day before you're like a stone on my pillow i don't make a sound when i shut the door oh, you don't have to wake up yet oh, we can spend our day in bed i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix so after planting and watering the cavolo nero we put those bars so that we can put the net this protects the vegetables from the birds I don't know if you can hear them in the background they're already calling a party <laughs> if you leave your vegetables uncovered like that 
we did it once and the next morning there was nothing left. The 14th of May was very hot. So this was the morning um, of that day and this is how the plants looked. We watered them and in the evening they had grown so much. The first pumpkin had come out as well. So this is the evening footage. Can you see how much they have grown, especially the rape? It was just amazing to watch. After two more days, they had grown even more. The rape was now overcrowded. It needed to go underground. The spinach needed a couple more weeks. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Your sweetness could reach everyone. There'd be no wars. So the final thing was to put a net again to protect the vegetables from the birds. Um, thank you so much guys for watching to the end. Do you have a garden and what are you growing in it? I'd like to know. Comment down below. Until next time, this is Lindy. Bye. Dream.